you know, it's potential. Did I say that right? Potentially. Potentially. Oh my God. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be answering your questions on is it safe to return back to the gym post quarantine. So if you are interested and you're wanting to know if you should return back to the gym, then keep on watching. So the first question is how long did you wait before returning to the gym? So I personally waited three to four weeks, three weeks to a month, like the first stage, people started flooding to the gyms and I automatically knew that everything was gonna rise and I didn't wanna be a part of that. I didn't wanna risk, you know, catching anything. Granted, like I do know how to work out in the gym. I know like the safety precautions to take. I still didn't wanna take that risk and, you know, risk passing it along to family members or friends. I waited a while before I went back. When I saw that things were kind of like maybe getting back to normal just a little bit, that's when I decided that I could go back. So the second question says, were you nervous? Now me being pretty experienced in the gym, I was not nervous. I knew precautions that I should take. I missed the waist, like I just really missed the gym. So no, I wouldn't say that I was nervous, just more like excited and anxious to kind of just like be back in my happy place. Cause the gym is, the gym is my happy place. Like that's where I feel most comfortable and I feel most myself. So no, I would not say that I was nervous. So the third question is, is it safe? I think it's definitely safe to go back to the gym. They did add extra like precautions in the gym. They are definitely practicing social distancing at LA Fitness, which is something to keep in mind. So like, I know they added arrows on the ground for you to follow, like, you know, as a pathway for you to walk, they spaced out the treadmills, they spaced out the bikes. They even spread the bikes out in the gym, which was honestly surprising. So I guess like to avoid having a group of people packed in in a cycling class, they decided to spread the bikes throughout the gym which is pretty cool to me. So if you think about it, I think it's safe to go back, you know, make sure that you guys are wiping the machines down before and after you work out just to be on the safe side and to reduce, you know, it's potential. Did I say that right? Potentially, potentially. To reduce potentially risk. Oh my gosh. To reduce the potential in spreading germs to somebody else. People make sure that they're keeping their distance. I will say that people are really good about that. They make sure that they're not next to each other. They make sure everybody has their space. You know, people are more aware and more conscious of like what they're doing and how close they are to people. So if you factor in that, then I definitely think that it is safe to go back. So the third question is, do you work out in a mask? It's not for me. I don't work out in a mask. I have seen some people do it. But I can't walk, I can't breathe in a mask, I can't wear a mask without wanting to like rip it off my face. So definitely not working out in a mask. You can, but your girl's not going to work out in a mask. Like I said, I have seen people that do it. More power to them, kudos, but I'm not. So the next question is, is there a maximum occupancy? For LA Fitness, I didn't see a maximum amount of people that would be allowed into the gym. I also have a Planet Fitness membership. And with them, I know that they have like, at least the one I go to, they have like a maximum occupancy of 141, I think. So, I mean, if you compare like that, I'm not sure I do know that LA Fitness is a bigger gym and it can like have more space depending on where you go. So maybe that's why they didn't have a, a specific number that I saw. I mean, I could have missed it, but I don't think that LA Fitness has a maximum amount of people that they're letting into the gym it was more of just like kind of like the regular check-in you know you go in scanning your car and you just walk right in and start your workout they were not even paying attention to like not saying they weren't paying attention but they were like monitoring per se like who was coming in and who was leaving out of the gym but i will say that the scanners were not at the desk they had a table in front of the desk so you were definitely six feet away from the workers and the workers do wear a mask so when you walk in, you know, you just scan your card at the table and you don't interact with the workers at all. They just kind of like watch you and guide you. And then you just follow the arrows throughout the gym and then you go about your day. So the next question is, what did they change? Honestly, it, not too much. I would say that other than the arrows that I mentioned before for you to follow and them spacing out the treadmills and some of the equipment like the bikes. They, did I see hand sanitizing stations? I don't even think I saw hand sanitizing stations at LA Fitness, but that I could have just missed it. Let's just hope that they added any hand sanitizing stations. But I do know at Planet Fitness, they definitely added those throughout the gym. Now I didn't see at LA Fitness, I didn't see where they were walking around like spraying the equipment or anything like that. I mean, I saw janitors walking around, but I 
I can't say that they were wiping it down. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. They did have the lockers blocked off in the locker room. I will say that they kind of like had these signs on the locker saying that it wasn't for use. And I guess that's to reduce spreading any type of germ. The sauna was off limits. I'm pretty sure the pool was off limits. I didn't check, but I don't see why the pool would be open. The only thing that was open were the restrooms. When I went in there, they did have a janitor in there, you know, cleaning and making sure that everything was wiped down and sanitized correctly. I guess the main thing that they changed would be the spacing out of the equipment and putting down the arrows for you to follow throughout the gym. But let me know what you think. Do you think it's safe to go back to the gym? I would love to hear what you all think and some of your opinions. And subscribe for more content. Hit that red button down below and support your girl. And don't forget to thumbs up because it really helps with my engagement and it allows me to reach more people who are interested in the same content that you are interested in. So share this video if you care. Share with anyone you think can benefit from it. And I will see you all in the next video.